my GoPro today. Hopefully get some of this filmed. Don't mind the noise, but that is the floor pan I've been working on. Those are some of my welds. So we've been putting in a new floor pan in this charger. Had to raise it a little bit in places because we're going to be cramming three inch exhaust in it. You can see the gap here. That's how far I raised the floor. And some of you are like, why? Well, I need more clearance in here. Back when I lived in North Bend, there's this bumpy ass frickin' road and we used to haul ass down it. And well, this rear floor pan was completely bent up inside the car. Notice the reconstructive surgery right there to the subframe. I'm gonna be installing subframe connectors, of course, but this will get me by so I can at least get it around the damn yard and get the pan in it. Cause this thing needs to be finished. You can kind of see what's going on up in here. I'm going to rebrace all this in here because this floor pan is the only one you can get for these cars. It's a 1971 floor pan. Assholes. That's all I got to say. They're doing it wrong. But yeah, it's a little naked in there. Super naked. We got a musical horn for it though. I think that'll replace that piece of crap air horn pretty good somebody crammed in there you see my rag and the big beam in front of it is how we get it up and on the lift here wrapped around the rag on the k-member but yeah you can see all that shit needs to be replaced this thing has like freaking two hundred and eight thousand miles on it it had two rod knocks 16 bent push rods two burnt valves and a crappy single exhaust that was falling off of it when i got it Super sweet. I love it. Enough waffle. Time to play. Yeah, you see that nice bushing there. Isn't that great? It's kind of shit that was on this thing. The fuck is my hammer? some fucking rust. So now it's made of new parts and no more rust for you. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Body hammer. There we go. A body hammer for a charger is a freaking like 20 ounce ball peen. Oh, at least I won't have to weld that spot. It's already boxed in. <sighs> so I'll have to weld up here. I don't know you can see that? I'm gonna have to weld up there, all around that. And get the welder in here. I don't know if you can see that, but right there. So I'm gonna be like, eh, with a little mirror sitting in here. I might not even record that because there's going to be a bunch of cussing. But you can see what I've been trying to fix here. The seams of the car. I'm going to have to probably get a sandblaster going. And get this spot cleaned up. See, they didn't undercoat this. They didn't take care of it. They didn't do nothing. Good job, Mopar, you fish assholes. You're the reason I'm having to do this. That's okay. I'm a welder. I enjoy welding. Overhead work sucks, but hey, that's what I went to school for. Believe it or not, that thing's like completely junk. See that? I gotta replace that. Mock up tape. Just so I can roll around the yard, like I said. I don't know, I gotta be careful with this fucking brake line. Get out of here. Thank you.
see, now I can just push on it. You're like, what's with all the banging? That's it right there. See? Yeah. Monster. So, yeah. And this one, I'll just have to weld the gap, just like the other side. I had to make that. taking a jack that I got over there and a, that board I got. It's just creating that edge out. So I can See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.